Hey everybody, this is Barbara. I am the owner of Inspirationally Designed and also the owner of BarbaraJournals.com. And today I'm going to show you how to do a quick printable that I did um, for Christmas. So I actually did a couple, but um, the first one I want to show you is the calendar that I did. So there is a way to do um, calendars on Canva. The, one of the ways, of course, you can just go and, and type in calendar. Um, let's see what pops up. Let me see. Let me try monthly calendar. Because I think that did automatically come up when I did it. So Canva has quite a few templates that you can use and just tweak for your own um, so that you can use it for whatever it is that you're trying to create. Or you just have to, you know, kind of change it around. And let me see, for some reason, calendar isn't coming up. That's the only one that's coming up. Hold on. Let's see. It's not what I want. Let's go back. All right, let's go up here where it says, what would you like to design? And I'm actually using um, Canva 2.0, and I do have the paid version of Canva, but of course you can use Canva for free. But I have Canva um, work at work. So these are all of the options for calendars over here on the left hand side that you could use. And of course, this is weekly, daily. I'm doing a monthly one, so let's see if I can find. All right, so here's one for monthly. And again, you could just you know click on it and it'll automatically pop over. Um, and if you don't like that one, you can always switch it out. But that's one quick way, and then you know you can just go ahead and modify this. But um, another way, if you want to kind of do it um, from scratch, so to speak, what I did was first, and I'm going to recreate this one down here. So first, let me delete this page. All right, so first what I did was I actually uploaded um, a blank template that I created on PowerPoint. So yes, I did cheat a little bit. I was able to do this template on Canva, but because I couldn't find anything that had all of the lines the way that it is, it was just easier to um, create on PowerPoint. If you want me to show you how I did it on PowerPoint, just leave a comment below and I will um, make a video on that. But I um, went ahead and created this on PowerPoint and then now I'm gonna stretch it out. And now that I have it stretched out, and you know actually what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to do something differently. What I'm going to do is first, I'm going to see all this white space right here around it. I'm going to go ahead and crop that. So I'm going to click on the image, click crop, and I am going to get rid of this extra white space just so that it leaves more room for me to create. Because when I do the, um, when I try to add uh, different um, graphics to it this white space would be in the way so first I'm going to get that, rid of that so now you can see that it's just primarily um, the grid lines or the uh, template lines and then I'm going to stretch this out hold on for one second so I'm going to pull on the corners to stretch it out so that it keeps its shape so now that I have that i raise this just a little bit. So now next, I'm going to go ahead and add um, the wreath. So what I did was I went over here, click elements, and I actually just, I think I just typed in, let's try Christmas. And if you go down here and click free only, only the free options will pop up. So as you can see, all the, anything related to Christmas is coming up. And I'm going to click on graphics. So as you can see, they have snowflakes, presents, all of that good stuff. I am, let me see if I can find my wreath. If not, I use a different background. The concept is pretty much the same. So I don't see it coming up right away. So let's use the Christmas package. All right, so the Christmas package is here. So we're going to make it a little bit bigger. Um, and I have it there. So. 
what you can do is once you stretch it out to how you want it, you can make sure it's in the center by placing it. And if you see the purple grid lines, I don't know if you can see them, it will let you know whether or not it's in the center. And actually what's throwing it off is this. So usually if you already have a graphic on there, sometimes if you add a different one, it'll try to line it up to the graphic that you already uploaded. So I'm going to move that up so now it's not quite in the center so that when I want to put this in the center, it'll make it easier. So you see the purple line that's popping up. That's letting me know that that part is fine. And then that's the other one that I wanted. So that's pretty much telling me it's in the center. So I'm going to go ahead and just um, keep that there for now. Let me see. I, I know I just messed it up when I moved it. So I'm going to undo just because I messed it up when I moved it. All right. So that's there. So then I'm going to add my calendar back. And what I'm going to do is I am going to have this picture. I'm going to send it back. So when you do um, position, you can do backward. And now my calendar comes up. So I'm sorry, let me reverse that. There we go. I want to make this transparent. So we're going to make this transparent. And as you can see, um, the package is becoming mm -hmm. transparent. I think I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. So we got that in the center. There we go. All right, so I have my calendar. So then what I'm going to do, let me make this larger. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. I'm going to insert text. So we go over here to text. And it gives you that placeholder. I'm going to move it up here. I'm going to type in December 2018. And if you go over here to the different font styles, it'll let you know what's available. Now, I did upload fonts, so I have some more options. But you can see all of the options that come up that you're free to use. So we're just going to keep it at this just to keep it simple. Mm -hmm. Then, um, so I have that. Now I put that over here. Just a little bit bigger. Mm, let's try 36. And I'm going to position, I'm going to shift it so that it aligns to the left. All right, so that's one. And then over here, what I did was I added another text box. And that's where I put my scripture. So I'll just say, um, I'll do a quick one. All right. I'm going to make that a little bit smaller because I want it to fit on the line. And I'm going to go ahead and go align that to the right. Um, I'm going to drag this out a bit so that it's on one line. And as you can see, it's letting me know that it's right there smack in the center with December 2018. Now, for the calendar part right here, um, I had to insert each of these placeholders. So yes, I actually um, did each of these, and what I did was I just copied, and I set them all up. Now the good thing is once you do one, it will align, make sure that it's aligned with the other one. So I'm just going to throw this up here real quick. Let me throw it up here real quick. So you see how they're all aligned. And then you would just, you know, click on it and just change the date. I mean, change the days and, you know, adjust the line in a little bit. Mm -hmm. 
and I just realized that I did the calendar wrong but you get the basic gist of it of course I would have to move all of these around but for time I'm not going to um, do that and you would do the same thing with the dates but that's pretty much how I created this calendar if you have any questions again definitely leave a comment below if you want to see other videos regarding how to use canva to create different types of printables leave comments below and i'll definitely start cranking those out i love using canva for printables um, i am going to do a video on how to create your own printables and that will come with um, a set of templates that you can purchase that's similar to the blank one that i did So you would get this basic format and then you would just go ahead and be able to um, add whatever you want to add to it and I'll show you how to do that in a later video. But I just wanted to give you an idea because I know I have some questions regarding this printable. And this printable is for free so I will um, leave a link below so that you can go ahead and get your copy of it as well. So again if you have any questions, comments, feel free to um, share the video with someone you know. Also, definitely, um, if you click the little bell when you subscribe to my channel, the bell will notify you whenever I do a new video. So thank you guys for checking this out, and I will talk to you soon.